Hey guys, what's up? Jesse again, doing one last video before Christmas, making Taylor a big ass lamp. You can get these lamps from like Beacon Lighting and stuff, but I think they're like 400 bucks minimum. And a while ago, she just wanted a lamp that could go over the couch or whatever. So anyway, I've got some three quarter inch or 19 mil tube, which is measured on the outside, stainless tube. It's the last day of work, I mean early, get one last job done. Chucked it in the rollers, I haven't recorded it, but it's the same as the last video. It's rollers, put it through, it comes out curved. So this is it here, kind of that kind of a radius. What we're gonna do now is I want a little bit of adjustability in case I get up. Cut it. Crimp one side with the hydraulic crimper so it can be a sliding fit and then it can swivel when needed. So I'll show you guys how to do this. That. Here is a hydraulic crimp. This is a FNP04. So it's for a quarter inch hose and what you do is you put the hose through there and the little crimps squash it down and keep it real tight for hydraulic pressure. That's made out of steel, so it seems pretty fit that you can just put a bit of tube in there and get it to a size that you want. So that's what we're gonna do. Outside diameter is, so I'll make it 18.9, I'll make it, make it 16.2. So we're gonna put this end in the crimper and squash it down to 16.2 so it can go inside that It's Christmas Eve, so what better time to do a nice present than the Christmas Eve rush? I'm serious. Anyway, uh, this is the room bit while she's out. This is the room I'm trying to light. We've got those shitty um, Leco halogens, and um, yeah, it, they're pretty horrible. So the light's very clinical and work-like, so that's why I've chosen to build this lamp and to put it into a bit of perspective for you. It's gonna sit down here, droop over um, you won't see the base but i'll make a better one in the future when i've got more time it'll droop over and taylor can select whatever bulb she wants and i've used the n27 or np27 fitting so we can have a bit more current and it's going to hopefully light up this section a bit nicer yeah got this stainless salad bowl from kmart for a couple of bucks so we're going to first we're going to drill a hole in the top and that's where the bulb holder Couple of bucks worth. So yeah, we'll start that now, 27 mil hole. base uh, weight um, to hold like down the lamp. I don't think Taylor's gonna like it so this is just gonna be temporary until I can source something a bit more flashy but going with the character I've got a Mark II Escort hub and this nut I'm gonna weld on to the first pipe that way that it can screw straight on and be disassemblable unassemblable. It can be taken apart and in the future I'll do something a bit nicer. So we'll crack out the SWS Alum TIG 200 and we'll TIG them together and that'll be most of the welding stuff done before we wrap the wires. Wrap the line right.
right, now that uh, that main hoop's assembled, we can start looking at some of the, the wiring that's part of this. So I've just got some twin core wire from Bunnings, 10 metres, so it's long enough to go up the actual curve and have enough cord to get to a wall. So yeah, we'll cut this open, we'll run it through the tube and drill a hole for it to come out. The fitting comes with a switch, so yeah, just hop, hook up our two power and negative to this, run it back through, we'll plug a lamp in, see if it works, and then the last thing we'll have to do is make some sort of a, a pendant chain to weld from the tube to the lampshade. Just need to weld on this hard fast jack chain. Got it from the local timber shop. Just gonna weld it from there to there, make it a little bit shorter than the hang that it's got just to be safe so it's not hanging all on the cord. And then we get the place in and wrap it up and see what she thinks of it tomorrow. Hey, Mark, I'm going to separately. <laughs>